Working with Smart Objects Focal Point 2 supports use as a smart filter. A smart filter is a way to add a filter to an object inside of Photoshop that is re-editable, like an adjustment layer but for filters. In order to use a smart filter, you need to convert your subject to a smart object. This is especially useful if you're working with an external file that might be a composite of multiple images or designs from something like InDesign, or if you work with digital camera raw files, you can open a raw file as a smart object, which allows you to change its processing parameters even though you've already done work on it inside of Photoshop. I've taken this image and I've already converted it to a smart object right here. To use focal point, it's the same as you would on any other image. Just go ahead and launch focal point. I'm going to open it here from the online panel. Then make whatever adjustments to it that you normally would. In this case, we're going to use a planar focal bug. I'm just going to make it nice and wide and position it over this front barrel and let it go out of focus as things proceed farther in the background here. Maybe let's add a little extra highlight bloom so we can really see the shape. And I'm just going to change my aperture a little bit here for fun. There we go. When we're ready, we just hit the Apply button. When we come back to Photoshop, you'll notice now that there's a Smart Filter layer, and underneath that is Focal Point. You can turn Focal Point on and off just by toggling the eyeball on and off. There's also a layer mask added where you can selectively blend Focal Point in or out of the image. To re-edit Focal Point, just double click on it. Focal Point will load using the exact same settings so that you can adjust things. Maybe we want to make the background a little bit darker in the scene. There we go. Let's apply that now. Now the real power of the smart object is that I can actually edit the smart object itself and Focal Point will be reapplied based on those changes. To edit the image, just double click on the smart object. It'll then appear in its own window inside of Photoshop. In this case, I want to remove this drain plug on the floor. So I'm just going to use the clone stamp tool here in Photoshop to go ahead and paint over that. There we go. When we're done, we'll just close this Save it, and when we go back, the image will be re-rendered through Focal Point, and we'll actually see the changes in real time. We'll see how the area that was underneath the blur has actually been adjusted, and then the blur on top has been re-edited. There you go. That's how to use Focal Point 2 as a smart filter.